Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to tell you guys about the creepy, like, store, like, dream I had yesterday. Yeah. Excuse how I look, I just did skincare. <laughs> but, um, with Halloween being tomorrow, I just want to tell you guys a creepy story. Um, while I do some makeup. I'm just doing some eyeshadow. So, in my dream, I was like middle east not middle eastern like uh middle ages like uh we'll say it was a, like the time of like the witch trials the salem witch trials there's a hair <laughs> um yeah so i dreamed that i was put on fire and or not that I was put on fire. I dreamed that like I was buried to death. And mind you, I can literally feel it. Like I can feel the dirt being put on top of me. I could feel being lowered into the grave. Like it was all just creepy. So, um, I stayed in there in the grave for about 50 years and then I was I didn't age which was really weird like the fact that I didn't age was like creepy um but it was just that that part was weird like I could the fact that I could like hear the dirt and like I could physically feel it I am using the Carly Bible palette. This is super old. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just making sure this got blended out. And this is what the palette looks like. Super fall. And then I'm using the Lexi Taper Blending Brush. But I think what was like super creepy about it is when I was woken up, something like unburied me, like they were unburying the caskets around it. And the fact that I never aged. But I was woken up. Yeah, that was creepy. <laughs> um. But when I was woken up, I was like seeking revenge on the people that did it. Mind you, this was the time of like the witch trials so it was just after the witch trials were over and I have met a real witch who helped me get revenge on who buried me so yeah started practicing witchcraft and with that I can literally feel like because she had to test spells on me I could physically feel it in my sleep I think the creepiest part <laughs> here comes the creepy part the last person that I went to go deal with who buried me would not admit it they wouldn't admit that they did it to me so in return I decided to take an apple I bit into the apple and out of my mouth a like glow worm I don't know how to describe it but like a big bat worm, an earthworm, went in from my mouth and I can feel it. So I'm just like, okay, yep, mm-hmm, that's a little suspicious. <laughs> um, and the apple piece came back out and reconnected. Yeah, so then I took it. Mind you, the earthworm looking thing was kind 
kind of like a part of me from when I was buried. Which is, I don't know like why this part of me now. But yeah. So part of me was poisoned from when I was buried. And so because of that, I wanted to make sure that the person who was really responsible, the person who made everyone else do it to me, which was the last person I dealt with, um, got the worst of it. So with that, I gave him a apple. Mind you, this does remind me of like some Snow White vibes, whatever though. Um, I gave him the apple and he didn't die, but the earthworm stuck in his throat and grew, but he didn't die. His throat got like this big, which is gross. Like you can see every little, cause it would like glow. So it was, it was weird, <laughs> but because of that, he suffered, um, and in the dream, I remember specifically, he re, like, he buried himself while I was, like, there watching, well, not really, like, physically there, but, like, I astral projected to be there <laughs> this dream was <laughs> so messed up you guys when I tell you like I can feel being buried alive I felt it I felt myself being lowered which if you've ever fallen back think of that but like you're completely straight being down um yeah it was a little weird just a little bit. <laughs> but yeah. I hope I never have a dream like that again. <laughs> because, and here's the thing, like I can hear the worms next to me in the grave. Bitch, you know, it is what it is. But you know, it's, it's something you don't want to hear. It literally sounded like thousands of things crunching away like if you were ever in elementary school and you had to like grow your own caterpillar um do you remember what it sounded like when they were munching all the leaves take that and multiply it by like thousands that's what it sounded like like it was bad so yeah like, it just really freaked me out. Like, I even put it on my TikTok how bad it freaked me out. And that I was going to explain it today. But, I mean, it's... I have really messed up dreams, you guys. Like, and I could feel most of them. And a lot of times I wake up. Or, like, I, like, wake up scared because of it. Sorry, I'm blocking. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just hoping I don't have another dream like that because I think <coughs> that was like one of the more surreal, um, vivid. That one and one that I had about my sister, my nephew. Yeah, that one was messed up too. But. <sighs> This is today's makeup. Nothing too serious. I just wanted to play around. Um, yeah, so that's what happened in my dream. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't believe it all. It was really messed up. But I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy Halloween. Be safe. Wear a mask. Try to social distance. I know a lot of people are trick-or-treating. Um, yeah, so just try to social distance, if not wear a mask, 
and I will do an update on my health <coughs> because it's not getting better and I will let you guys know how I'm doing tomorrow when I'm getting ready for Halloween don't forget to give this video a thumbs up I know this video was kind of everywhere that's how the dream was I do apologize and I will see you guys tomorrow bye guys